Hey everyone, Akari Enderwolf here, and uh, welcome to an hour of me being in utter terror as I go through this game and hello person who's going to die. You're gonna die, you know. That's an odd looking poster. Uh, yeah, more alien isolation. I told you so. Oh great, it's in the vents. I don't detect any movement. Oh, that? This elevator? Okay. Yay! I'm away from the alien again. Oh, thank goodness. After this episodes are going back to 45 minutes and I'm gonna make a simplified uh, thumbnail version of me. Oh hey, another save point. I'm gonna make a thumbnail version of me that I can just use with any game. Because I'm starting to want to unify the styles a bit on thumbnails. Let's have bow baton. Shaki shaki. Is this a freeze the alien and kill and uh, make it not able to come after me for a while situation, please? Okay, Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of a martial investigation. Female, late 30s, chest wound, pain on the left toenail. Need to clip that. Not relevant to what I'm reading. I have no idea how long Marshall Waits will want to keep her up here. But this is a highly sensitive situation. I'm gonna need your discretion, and I'll also need you to trust me on this one. Come see me in my office. Frank, your concern about San Cristobal's lockdown has been noted. I assure you, an evacuation is 100% necessary, ne necessary, and only a temporary message measure. My priority is the welfare of the living, while you seem to be more preoccupied with the dead. If you're worried about power fluctuations, morgue temperature, and the condition of your corpses, just adjust the coolant delivery system. We'll get you out of there ASAP. Hmm. Okay, so I need to find that. But once I do...
Really? Uh... Oh, this needs ethanol, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get some compound B on that. I so do not like this situation. The game, yes. Situation, no. Plus there being a very limited I I can't pick those up. to hide right now. Pretty sure Alien can come down here. Stay in the vents. I heard it come out of a vent. I heard it come out of a vent. here, right? Go back to your vent. Go back to your vent. Can't really see that side any better. Gonna go back in here for now and just check.
Okay, if it's moving like that, it's in the vents. Which means I have a limited amount of time... To do what? in here for a sec oh my gosh no 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 Okay, I'm gonna wait until I hear it go back into its vent. I don't even know where its vent is. One moment. Okay, I am back. No, not that vent. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, I want to get in here for a moment. it's gonna come out sometime soon and we still have about the normal length of an episode left to go <laughs> one thing to remember people you're watching a stealth let's play as such I might be a bit slower than others at getting through areas because I hide and I stealth my way through the game where possible. <sighs> Please order more of above. A thing. With like, TRK-266. It's a nice picture. Okay, it's behind me. over there can't see anything I gotta check something real quick does the alien learn Please tell me it doesn't. The alien learns even if you die. That's bad. Okay. One. 
Okay. The alien should not be allowed to have meta game. Seriously, what? It does not feel like they added to the game to me. It feels like unnecessary difficulty. Like, to me, it's on the same level as players using meta information in Dungeons and Dragons. That's what the alien is doing, apparently. Only it just stares at me even that way. So annoying. Alien because it's stealth needs needs to be predictable in order for it to be effective. Yeah. It took lots of guts for the developers to force the alien to learn from your actions. I don't feel like I should be forced to do variety when I have something I like that works. I mean, the alien getting more difficult as you go through the game, maybe, but not when you die to it. Like, it should be something like, on this level, it's going to look in these places. I don't like the fact that it learns. If it gets to the point where it starts 
becoming too much of a nuisance, I'm definitely changing the difficulty of the game down. Because I am not... I'm trying to use my strategies as sparingly as possible. That way, the alien has less opportunity to learn from me. Actually, you know what? Yeah. If it doesn't see me or detect me at all, it should just have less opportunity to learn from me. It shouldn't be learning, hang, oh, I can't detect the player. Maybe they're hiding in lockers and make the alien suddenly start looking in lockers. That would be downright stupid. Because quite honestly, the alien wouldn't do that. Like, if it can't detect a person, it wouldn't suddenly go after them. Just because it's like, Hank, oh, I couldn't detect this person. And that, that clearly exists because they keep going in lockers. Like, it wouldn't have known that the player was going in lockers and to begin with. Like I'm saying, unless it sees you go into a locker, it should never learn that you're going in lockers. Jeez, I'm Pete. So, like, if I think ahead and hide before it even gets to me, then I should be fine. As it's for Lingard, on her return, I've prepared patients in the trauma ward for transportation as best I can before Waits locks the place down. I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric ward to make sure there are no stragglers. The dispensary is now empty. Everything San Cristobal has excuse me, to offer in terms of first aid and medicine is with you or elsewhere on the station. Okay. Cause of death. Freaking alien! Oh, hello, cutscene. You're welcome. Medical officer to Vestival Station. I want to... Placed under duress with regards to the compromise patient zero and ransom season's head of operations he a oh, patient he zero for my career and my certification I want that on record face hugger God. that woman needed help I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered but it had planted something inside her I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Oh. Okay, so... Where do I want to go now? Operate... Oh, I still have that. I don't even see anything on this map that could get me over there. Like, I don't see... Oh, wait. Okay, there's a door. That might get me there. Screw searching the rest of these rooms. I just want to go. Wait. Yeah, that's a door, too. So there's, like, a couple doors. 
Jeez, I'm eight. Okay. It's not in the vents anymore. It's a good thing I'm really good at stealth. I don't want to use the flare distraction too often. Yeah, here it comes. But yeah, if it just plain doesn't detect me at all, it shouldn't learn anything from me. That's my way of thinking. So if you're really good at being a stealth player, then the only things it should learn is about your distractions. It's like, say, if I hit a wall with a hammer and then went in the other direction or something. Ditto! Now I gotta go around. I hate these lights. Shh. Clearly in the vents. And I'm clearly not hidden. Okay, get in. <sighs> I don't even see it. Oh, it's, it's in that room. Okay, I think. I hid without it noticing me. Cause like if it doesn't notice you, it I'm just gonna keep repeating that. Uh yeah. But yeah. If a person wouldn't logically learn to do something, neither should the alien. It's just hiding in that room. I have to find out more. Oh. 
Okay. Lockers a lot. Oh, come on. Okay. Best story so far was starting noisemaker. Okay. Really? Okay, finding out what I've just found out, I might change it to easy. Just because it's like, it makes no sense. The alien learning to check lockers just because you hide in lockers when it can't see you go in them makes no sense doesn't add anything to the game for me. Search better. So Wait. Enemies got more HP, weapons hurt more. Always shift to patrolling in the corridors to be near the player. Even if I was all quiet and stealthy, so on hard mode it's even worse. A lot worse by the end of the game it didn't. Seriously? Making stealth worthless at the end of the game? That's bad! Cause it's like, okay, I started looking up this stuff and now I can't stop.
Okay, for angle let's see. People keep mentioning, oh, on easy, on hard, what about medium? That's what I'm on. Okay, so if I want the game to play more realistic, I have to play easy. I'm just gonna keep going with my way. So does it just sniff at lockers? From now on, any research is gonna be done with my phone instead of Steam so that the alien can keep doing its thing. Dr. Morley, I don't care what you think you need to do. I want you out of San Cristobal now. You know that, you know what we've set up in there, and I'm truly sorry for what the, and it means for your patients who can't be moved, but this is the only way. There will be no wor further warnings. Right, head to press center. Morley, I need you out of medical. We've set up shop and habitation power. People are fight fighting over supplies. We got more injuries coming in. Uh, Back in my locker. There it goes again. I'm not gonna bother checking. If the hold breath thing comes up, I am going to hold that thing until it walks away. Yes, I was over at that computer, now go away. Far away. Yeah, no, not gonna fall for it, alien. Like, the one thing that it should never do is directly just be like, Hink, oh, I'm gonna rip this locker apart. I do not like the idea of it destroying the lockers at all. Because that's just bullshit. Oh, I was pressing S, right. San Crystal Medical Lockdown. And locations to follow. Lingard. 
We're just gonna listen to this in here. The alien was very clearly on my motion detector. Is it in the vents? Yes, it is absolutely in the vent. Okay, is there anything under utility on this thing? Yeah, if the alien does... The lights should not have turned on in here! I hate those lights! Oh, that's a vent. I'm gonna hide under a desk this time. Why did we want to do that? Don't direct me in there again. Very strong feeling it's gonna pop out in there. It's over there. Wait for it to go away. Before we go into that room again and find whatever it is it's pointing at. I just did a stupid. Or a dumb or whatever. Got out of the locker. Okay, it's an event. Oh great, it's gonna make me actually search for it. Of course it is.
Okay, so that's that area searched. All that's left is down here because I've already been in this room. Can I hide under the table? No! But there is a locker here. I just wanted to double check. Oh, wow. What? Oh, I can switch the focus. So right, holding right click. Okay, move my knee out of the way just in case I have to hit one of the other buttons to hold my breath. But yeah, stealth should never, ever be worthless in a stealth game. Plain and simple. I don't know why I keep bringing that up. Okay, it's quiet. What? But I thought... And I know that's not pointing me to the key card. Where is the key card in this area? <sighs> Medical ward key card. Mute this. Oh, it's literally right there. It's literally right there. Okay, so it's right next to the save point. I'm too scared to think right now. Coming back. Oh, that's Katakana. Did I mention that was Katakana before? I want to read it. But I haven't learned all the symbols yet. I need to work on that. Yeah, there's Kakikukeko. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah. I don't think so, alien. You didn't see me hide, so you can't learn this. That is my line of thinking. And it's not gonna change. Half expected to open that door. Oh, what's that say? Secure lock systems. Access for technical and security officers only. Okie dokie, Loki.
Yeah. We're gonna get the key card. We're gonna go to the next area, that's for sure. I think I heard it go into a vent. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Save. What I want to know is if there's segments after this that don't have the alien in them. Alien isolation segments without alien. Without a Lee. That that works. Are there many segments that are alien-free? Oh, so once I get past mission seven, I should have free reign for a little while. It's just scripted to be a jerk in this section. Hear it moving around. Okay, so I need to get up there. So it looks like there's a door further down the hallway right here. Though that probably leads like through a big room, maybe. I don't know. There's a small door there, I think. There's a door there. I'm gonna go for this door. Hello? Mario? Mario? Luigi! Princess Peach? Samus? 
Hey, are you Samus? If so, we could use you. You know, kill the alien. Flat out. Awesome Chozo power armor. Now I'm not sure which dots are people and which dots are alien. Which means I'm going to be even more cautious. Oh, hello. You did not see me. Yeah, and I must have a place to hide. Because I don't want to engage in combat at all right now. Oh great, there's two people over here. On the bright side, delicious little num-nums for the alien. What's this? I can't read it anyway. I see you there. That's right. Go away. Okay, so the alien is not coming after me for a while, I think. Gonna switch to this for a little bit. Oh, it's an MRI room. Yeah, no, that wouldn't lead through. Oh, alien, alien hole. That really, really, really fast dot is definitely the alien. But he has other little snackies to eat as well. What was that? How much time left on the timer? Oh good, it's almost over. I don't have a save point. It's high. It's over where I need to go. Vent. Right. Save point, please. Anywhere, save point, please. This bed. Let's open our map. Because there's clearly a door right there. Our map didn't get updated with much. But I figure if I get to the objective, there should be a save point near it.
Operating theater. Good. I guess this bonus episode's going a bit longer than an hour. Which I guess it should. Don't just sit on me. Go away. Samuels. You move. Let's just get everything into my log, and then we can maybe. going? Down there. Right. Through the ER. Okay. I really hope that uh, audio log Whew. I've got the smoke bomb just in case I need it to sneak. Oh, hey, floor vent. Where am I going? Not here. Here's an exit. Ripley, your way out through the medical reception is locked down. The only way to open up an exit is to trigger the hospital's evacuation procedure. Ah. <coughs> Plink. Plunk. Plunk. And go. Not sure what that did. Right. Alien vent. Not falling for it. I hear a save point. And... Ah, I know that. Which means... I'm not ending the episode when there could potentially be a hostile encounter immediately. Let me just check this for... I don't have pipe bomb. Okay, flip. Flop. Floop. This 
this really necessary? Was that wise? I want to see this. Why is it dancing? I don't have any EMP. And I ain't going under that vent. Figures I get a save point in a spot where I can't really save. No, no, you can't be here and walking around the vents at the same time, alien. This one, this one. Hello! It's not fair doing thing this when I... Making lots of noise. Going this way. Okay. So. R. No. I meant to hit R. Can't go through ER. Oh. Oh, you're not. Good. I don't care. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hazard containment breach logged. Well, at least my smoke bomb did something. It's not going to be active this whole time, is it? Yeah, don't shoot. You idiot! 
What? Okay, that's a good place to stop. Uh... Because this. That'll do it for this episode. If you liked it, leave a like and comment down below. I will be terrified again next time. Bye.